In this video, I will uh, discuss software assurance maturity model starting with its importance and then uh, certain domains or business functions of this model that is governance, design, implementation, verification and operations. And then uh, certain security practices within each of these uh, business functions. So open web application security project has developed uh, this uh, model and it is a framework to mature uh, the security practices in software development life cycle. And it ensures that the development projects of an organization uh, include security features. So there are five business functions or they are also called as domains and then there are 15 uh, security practices within each of these five business functions. That is uh, three security practices per business function. And uh, these security practices can be assessed uh, for their maturity with regards to security. And uh, by following this uh, framework or model, you can develop an action uh, plan where you can assess the security uh, maturity of your development practices uh, and then uh, you can also decide what is the targeted security uh, maturity level which you have to acquire by following or improving different uh, practices within this framework. So these practices uh, are related to people, process and technologies. So first business function is the governance and it is to manage uh, the software development life cycle or overall the development project quality and its security. So there are uh, different uh, security practices that is strategy and metrics, policies and compliance, education and guidance. And uh, within security and metric uh, practice, it is to create and promote the strategy of an uh, organization with regards to its uh, software development and then uh, to decide certain metrics to measure and improve uh, the overall security of development practices and overall security of the development project or a product. So uh, you also develop different policies and uh, assure the compliance to these policies and then in education and guidance, uh, you conduct training and awareness with regards to security practices of software development lifecycle and you overall improve the organization security culture. So ne next business function is the design uh, and its purpose is to define and develop the uh, or architect the security requirements in software development lifecycle and you perform the threat assessment uh, to identify the application risk profile and you conduct threat modeling and uh, then you define the security requirements of software and also security requirements with regards to a supplier of a software and then uh, uh, you architect uh, the security design uh, and the technology management with regards to the security of an application which you are developing. So after design phase then is the implementation where you build and deploy the application and the security uh, practices in that. So you ensure the secure build of an application uh, that is its processes and different software dependencies 
and uh, you ensure the uh, secure deployment of a software and also if there is any secret data which you have to manage and then is the defect management where you perform tracking of different uh, software related bugs and you also develop different metrics to get uh, the feedbacks related to these defects so uh, next business uh, function is the verification to confirm the uh, security requirements are embedded into the software and the different practices within this business function are the architect assessment requirement driven testing and security testing and within the architectural assessment uh, you validate the architect uh, that it meets your security requirements of your operations with regards to that software and this architect is overall compliant uh, to different uh, policies of an organization and then requirement driven testing here you perform validation of security control and also you perform different uh, misuse case testing or abuse case testing and try to uh, input different malified uh, inputs into the software to check its response and then is the security testing uh, to ensure the scalable security baseline and you develop a deep understanding of different uh, security features so it can be included as part of quality assurance by using the automated uh, security testing tools or uh, you perform the manual test for high risk component of a software and you can perform penetration testing and these security testing should be part of deploy deployment and development of an application then last phase is when uh, the product is operational or the software is operational in production environment so you have here you have to maintain the security requirements so you perform incident management detection of the incident and in the incident response and also uh, the secure environmental management that is by hardening the configuration of a software or different systems which are using this software and also ensuring the patch and updates and uh, in operational management practice uh, you ensure the data protection uh, which is using uh, or interacting with this software and you also perform the secure management of legacy systems or applications which are interacting with this software so this was all thank you